a very pleasant evening to one more person here. I'm Vikshipa from Savitar Energy College. Uh, my topic for today is recent advances in digital forensics. Uh, we live in an era of uh, global digitalization. Almost all criminal activities have at least one digital evidence and uh, with the aid of digital forensics, uh, such digital evidence can be paramount in legal proceedings. So uh, digital forensics is a branch of forensic science that deals with identifying, acquiring, processing, analyzing, and reporting of data stored on any electronic device, such as computers, mobile phones, networks, disks, and uh, drones, or anything like that. So coming to the objectives of uh, digital forensics, uh, they are identification, preservation, analysis, documentation, and finally the presentation after summarization uh, of the evidence in the court of law. Now that the technology is on the rise, suspects and criminals who are well versed in cyber and metaverses have various methods by which they can make the evidence almost untraceable, uh, such as by using anti-forensic techniques such as um, malware incorporation, encryption, disk wiping, stagnography. Stagnography is uh, one in which they store uh, data files within data files. So it's uh, impos almost impossible to retrieve them. And this, uh, we use uh, methods such as stagno uh, reverse stagnography. Uh, and uh, sometimes when this is out wide, uh, we need to do a deleted file recovery, which can be an arduous and tedious process. So um, uh, moving on to the recent advances in digital forensics, X0 uh, has been uh, developed in, cooperation, uh, in collaboration with Microsoft. It is the most uh, recent development that is uh, being, ha being happening in the field of digital forensics. Uh, Xperia software, uh, it is uh, currently used by the West Midland Police uh, to collect, process, and review large volumes of data. So other tools that are available uh, in the recent, uh, in, in the year 2022 is IB, IBM Security Curator, in which, uh, uh, it is used to retrace the step, steps of the cyber criminals. And FTK Forensic Kit is uh, one of the most recognized uh, forensic tool that is uh, recognized by the court of law. It allows collection and processing of data and allows file uh, decryption and um, password uh, cracking systems. So other uh, forensic tools that are available are ProDiscover, where it locates all the data that is present in the computer. And uh, Sleuth Kit is normally used uh, along with uh, another uh, forensic, uh, digital forensic tool such as uh, Cyber Triage, where uh, actually Sleuth Kit, um, it, it extracts all the logs and mail contacts uh, from the computer or the mobile. And uh, Cyber Triage combines them and we get a really good result. And another uh, commonly used is uh, Kane, which uh, creates a timeline that, uh, from uh, the RAM that is extracted from the computer. So um, what are the most common challenges that we face in the field of uh, digital forensics even now after all these improvements is uh, there is extensive internet usage, there's a large volumes of hidden data and then it requires a lot of uh, storage space and data tampering is uh, quite uh, common. So uh, I would like to conclude by telling that uh, although digital uh, forensics field is ever on the rise, um, the crimes and um, the criminals, they're also advancing along with the uh, advancement of uh, digitalization. So as proud citizens of our nation, we have to uh, create uh, better awareness and we have to create better tools uh, and improve the field of digital forensics uh, to prevent um, criminals from escaping from uh, their uh, crimes. Thank you.